Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lorraine Rose and if you're new to my channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It means so much. We only have about a week left until Christmas and so if you're needing some great last minute gift ideas, then keep watching. This year for Christmas, I made these beautiful gift baskets and I'm going to include for you all of the items that I placed into these gift baskets just to give you some great gift ideas. So if you're wanting to just give away one of these items and not do a whole gift basket, you can do that. Or if you're wanting to do a gift basket, then hopefully I'm able to give you some ideas. But without further ado, let's just get right into the video. The first thing that you're going to want are baskets. Now, a few months ago, I went to several different Goodwills and I found these beautiful baskets. Now, if you are in a time crunch and <laughs> you're wanting to do gift baskets, but you don't have a whole lot of time before the holidays, then what you can do is just go to like six different thrift stores or Goodwills. Just take the day, grab yourself a peppermint mocha <laughs> and Hit up all of the thrift stores and you will be surprised at the beautiful baskets you can find for under four dollars and that's just so much more cost effective than going to a big store and purchasing them there. Now I am going to be putting some heavy duty jars and containers into my baskets and I do not want them to break so what I'm gonna do to just give them a little bit extra strength on the bottom <laughs> is I'm going to set Christmas tree clippings on the bottom and around the basket. And this just kind of helps carry the extra weight that I'm going to be putting into the basket. So all you're going to want to do is either go to a Home Depot, a Lowe's, a Pike's Nursery, anywhere where they sell Christmas trees, and you're going to just ask them, can I have some of your Christmas tree clippings. I mean, they'll give you the whole crate of Christmas tree clippings for free if you want them, but that's what I did. I just filled up my van with free Christmas tree clippings and they just make a great filler for your basket and they help with that extra support. So I'm gonna put those in my basket first. And then I purchased these little bags of shredded paper from the dollar store. So it only cost, I think like $3 because I got three packages for six baskets. And I kind of just set that in the middle of my basket just to cover up the sticks. And it just adds a cute little filler before I start adding things to my baskets. Now my baskets are ready to be filled. The first thing I'm going to put into my baskets are my homemade detox lavender and eucalyptus bath salts and I will link the video showing you how to make these down in the description box. But if you do want to purchase these from me in a quart size mason jar, I am selling them for $20 a jar. So all you have to do is find my email address linked in the description box below and send me an email and I would love to make some of these for you. But you can easily make your own homemade bath salts yourself and this is a great gift for the holiday season because everybody is so busy running around getting so much done that you know we all need to make sure that we take care of ourselves as well during the holiday season so we can still be a joy to everybody else around us. <laughs> The next thing that I'm going to add to my baskets is this jar of homemade apple butter and I will link the video down in the description box below for you that I made showing you how to recreate this same apple butter. And all I did to decorate it with was I got an old kitchen towel and I cut it up into squares and I set it on the top of my mason jars before I screwed the second lid over that and I just added some twine and some cinnamon sticks. Apple butter is so delicious on a loaf of homemade bread, and honestly, I haven't met a whole lot of people that don't love apple butter, so 
You'll definitely have to try your hand out at this recipe. The next thing I'm going to add to my baskets is this homemade peppermint lotion. Now I will link the video that I made showing you how to make this yourself down in the description box below. Now if you don't have time to make any homemade lotion, everybody loves the Body Shop or Bath & Body Works or Lush. They have the funnest beauty products and such good smelling Christmas scented lotions and so I just can't imagine anybody who wouldn't love to receive lotion from any of those stores this holiday season so you can always just do that and it's much easier. <laughs> And the next thing that I did was I made some keto brownies. These are also Trim Healthy Mama brownies if you're on Trim Healthy Mama, but I thought since we're always eating such unhealthy things during the holiday season that it would be kind of nice to make a healthy treat for my Christmas basket friends. <laughs> so now would be a good time to just hop on YouTube or Pinterest or the internet and find a good healthy recipe, something that's easy that you can just whip up and add to your gift baskets. And I also took some time over the fall season to collect a few Christmas tins from Goodwill and different thrift stores. I also found some at the grocery store that I've been collecting because I knew I wanted to make some healthy holiday treats to pass out. And I would recommend to kind of make a bulk recipe that way you can hand them out to more people than just the ones that you're giving the gift baskets to. And if you do it all at once, then you can just knock it out all at once and you've got little healthy holiday treats to pass out with your Christmas cards this year. The next gift that I'm going to add to my gift baskets are these holiday scented homemade soaps. I bought these from my friend who makes and sells her own homemade soaps. And I've been using her soaps for several months now and I love them. They smell so good and they lather so well. They're just amazing. I will link her Instagram page in the description box below. Her name is Renee. She is amazing. She is a mom of two adorable children. She's also a photographer. She's just so great. I love her so much and you'll have to go check her out and buy some of her soaps because they're amazing. And basically all I did to gift wrap these soaps was I purchased these wooden soap blocks. Now I will link these in the description box below for you. They were a great price off of Amazon and basically all I did was I added the soap to the soap dishes and then I just cut off some cream ribbon and then I added some twine to that and I just wrapped it around the soap and this makes such a great gift. I mean everybody loves homemade soaps and if it comes with the soap dish people will be more likely to use them. So I would definitely recommend to go ahead and get those and that is it. You can hand these out in a gift basket or just with a Christmas card and they're great. <laughs> just add these lip balms to my baskets and thankfully this specific lip balm came in a set of six and I purchased these off of Amazon. I will link them down below. These are also great if you have a lot of children and you need some stocking stuffers because our lips always get chapped in the winter time. So yeah, I'm going to just add these. Now I'm going to show you some of the things that I found at Goodwill to finish these baskets off with. I found this beautiful set of glass candlestick holders 
and I went ahead and I purchased eight of these candles from Trader Joe's for under four dollars for my friend who loves to host and the same friend who loves to host is so amazing every time I go to her house she has a loaf of freshly baked bread and so I purchased this bread warmer for her and I actually found this bread warmer at Goodwill as well and then the neat thing about these glass Christmas tree trays was that I found one of them at one Goodwill and another at another Goodwill so I thought that was pretty neat and then I found this super cute green Christmas tree tray and I just sprayed the back of it where this white part is with bleach and it got all of the dirt off so that's just a little hack and then I found this super cute Santa Christmas tree tray and I mean who doesn't love a chubby Santa? <laughs> And then I found this super cute cream and sugar set for my friend so she can have that while she enjoys her coffee this holiday season. And one of these baskets, the children of the mom are actually my goddaughters. And so I went ahead and I purchased these cute little snowflake water bottles for them. And I've also been collecting ornaments from Goodwill over the past few months and I found these two really pretty ornaments and then I found a set of four glass ornaments so it actually worked out perfect and I just filled them with this fake snow from the Dollar Tree which this is different than a typical looking fake snow they're like little tiny white balls and so I just thought that would look so cute in these ornaments and I just tied them to my gift baskets and that is it and then I went ahead and I filled in all the blank spots with some more Christmas tree clippings and the last thing that I did was I sat down with a cup of coffee and I wrote out Christmas cards for each of my friends to put in these baskets and I stamped the card with some wax and a wax stamp and I will link a set of these down below for you a friend got this wax stamp set for me several years ago and I use it all the time and so I would highly recommend this and this would also be a great little gift as well so I will link a set down below for you and that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you have a restful and wonderful holiday season. Please don't forget to subscribe and until next time I love you guys so much. Bye!